Imagine going inside a room, touching a plant, and being able to turn on the lights of that room. Imagine storing the memories of humanity itself in nature. Imagine storing voice messages in a library that is totally open field, where you can go and touch the plants and basically communicating and interacting with them. I'm Pablo Vidarte, CEO and founder at Bio. Bio is a biotech company in Barcelona that is focused on generating energy from nature itself to literally combine nature and technology in a totally different way. Since I was really little, I began programming by myself. I think I was like eight years old. I started doing video games even by myself. Later on, when I was 16, I actually began working with something totally different. They were external combustion engines. I actually wanted to perfect a system that NASA did in 2002, uh, oriented to, to powering cars. And I actually was able to increase that efficiency by uh, 60%. And it was pretty cool because I ended up competing against the Army and even and NASA introduced me to the Singularity University, which is the university made by NASA and Google. I began asking myself, how can I actually find something that I could name as really revolutionary? Of course, I'm worried about climate change. And actually, if you think about it, there's been a whole transition in terms of energy. We began burning fossil fuels. They were pretty interesting in the first place, but then we realized that we were, we were basically killing the planet. Then we invented things like solar panels and solutions that were able to prevent things from getting worse. But the next step ahead it's to basically be able to reverse the whole equation, to revive that planet that we're starting to lose. So what we do at Bio is to generate energy from biological batteries that are literally plugged to any kind of natural terrain. It has to have soil, but any kind of park, garden, or agricultural field, it's able to generate electricity for you. We're even able to uh, use plants as biological switches. Imagine, for example, being able to recognize the specific frequency of a human touch to a plant and using that uh, to do demotics with them. So what we have here is a biopanel. This is a natural environment. And this environment, once you add water, it naturally releases organic matter. We absorb that organic matter that it's no longer used by the natural environment. And what we do here is to break it down with microorganisms. They are natural microorganisms that they simply need to eat that organic matter. In that process, they liberate electrons. And what we do is to capture them with electrodes that we have here. They are totally carbon-based and create basically a current of of electricity. The most interesting thing is that not only electrons are released, but also hydrogen ions. They naturally go upside and they combine with the oxygen. And here, magic happens because the oxygen and hydrogen are combined to create water. That is the byproduct of the whole reaction. Not only electricity, but also water. Las pilas microbianas se llevan estudiando desde los años 70. Instituciones como el MIT y la NASA han trabajado con estas tecnologías. En bio desarrollamos baterías que se puedan emplear en entornos naturales. The goal is that the net waste of every single product we have is basically zero. And actually even better. Every single product we do, in terms of biological batteries, they are even able to absorb CO2 from the atmosphere. We actually have a very ambitious goal by 2050 to reduce up to 1% of the total CO2 emissions. And it's not actually impossible, it is feasible, but we do need time and resources. When testing the biological switches, we thought about what if we were able to create art with nature itself, and we created a piano. It's literally a piano made out of plants themselves, and we are even able to turn that into a mixing board. Even DJs, famous DJs around the world were able to, to play it. We want a real transformation. We want this to become something that we're gonna see in our buildings, in our parks, in our streets, and basically even in our own rooms. So my personal ambitions is 
to be able to create different projects that are literally able to shape the, the world in which we live in. My next company, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a biotech company as well. Probably not to kind of heal the planet, but actually heal ourselves. Basically to combat aging. Actually think that before improving the human beings, I actually think that it's way better if we improve our own cities, our own world. I'm not only speaking about creating biotech cities, but about a biotech world, which is going to be better for everything. Not everyone, but also nature itself.